Good afternoon. I'm not sure what happened. I just started filming and my camera just made that really annoying grrr noise. So I stopped and I'll start again. Um, I am at Phil's house at the moment. Um, I've been waiting for DFS all morning. Um, we have these lovely um, sofas um, and a cuddle sofa. And I've just had this delivered. My lovely footstool. Um, and then we've got another engineer coming out in a few days to look at the bottom because one of the feet doesn't go in properly. Um, so that is should then be fingers crossed all finished. Um, I'm so bunged up to get it today. It's ridiculous. I don't feel good at all. But I, I don't know. I suppose I just today I just really like woke up and was like I need to get on with things. Um, I have a talk booked in for next week and I haven't even thought about it really. Um should be pretty simple. It's on the Romsey connection um of World War One. So to me that's really simple. That's just going through the project, um, some of the really big stories that we found. Um and I just need to build a slideshow to go with it. So it won't take me long, she says. Um and then I'm just going through like some of the archive stuff and adding it to the role of honour that we had, um, which is a huge mammoth task, um, and I'm not really getting anywhere with it. Um my laptop keeps freezing up as well, so I'm gonna go up home and use the big computer. Uh and that's that really. Um but I just thought I would check in, you know, I still feel very low, feel very unconnected. Um I don't know, I, I just don't know what I'm meant to do. I think that's the biggest issue here more than anything. What am I meant to do to take this next step? And it's really frustrating. Um, but today I had um, a good friend of mine has just messaged to say, we're moving to Romsey, um, fancy catching up and hanging out a little bit. And I was like, you know what? That would probably be really, really good for me. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. They're moving just up the road for, from me. So staggering distance home. Um, and I think she'll really appreciate like having someone about as well. Um, so, you know, who knows, maybe things will start looking up, but I just need to kick this whole blur right in the ass. And I'm really struggling as to where to start with that. I uh, got up this morning after Phil had left and, um, I just thought I didn't, just didn't know what to do. I didn't want to sit on my backside and do nothing. But at the same time, I was just like, anything I do is just pointless. Like, it gets me nowhere. So, meh. <laughs> Still feeling quite meh is probably the best way um, of describing it. So we've gone from meh to absolutely crap and now back to meh. So hopefully this is the, the way back up. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is building a hut day for dad, um, if we ever get there, and we were meant to be doing it all day, but my sister called, and, um, she needs some help with some bits, she, unfortunately this week, um, she completely dislocated her knee, um, and ended up in hospital, um, so yeah, he's got to go and help her, which is fine, um, so we'll get the place ready, and then start working in the afternoon, um, and then I think the rest of the weekend is kind of mine and Phil's, which is good. And then next week is crazy. Um, I'm in London for a conference. Um, I have a talk. There is another meeting that's meant to be happening, but I can't make it to it. So I'm meant to be having a meeting beforehand with the guys that are doing it. Um, but I haven't heard back from them, so I'm not sure on that one. And then on the Saturday, so a week tomorrow, me and Vix are heading up to London to go and see Aladdin for her birthday and my birthday. Um, and I've really struggled on what to get her. So I've got her little something and then I think I'm going to go see if I can find like a voucher for Hard Rock Cafe for us whilst we're up there. Um, I think that would be really good. Just have a real chilled out day. There isn't really much else to say. Like my brain is just properly switched off at the minute. I can't engage with anything. Um, I don't know whether it's just like this cold really bugging my head up. Um, or I'm just genuinely disengaged. This time last year I was doing so much um, and it was frustrating me. Um, I then feel like I've taken this time off and this year I'm actually doing jack all. Um, so I think that's probably not helping me in my brain situation. So I think what I'm gonna do is pack up here, um, head up home, do the ironing, write a blog piece, um, send out a couple of emails and just see if I can get some blog work somewhere 
Uh, and we'll see. I don't know. I just feel like anything I do just isn't good enough, so what's the point? And then there's something in my head that's now kicking and going, but you have to try, Sarah, because if you don't try, you don't get anywhere. Well, I know that, but uh, I've been trying for two and a half years, and I've, I've got nowhere. So that's where we are today um before we go though i want to show you some pictures so um we've got up oh, mother um so we painted this whole room before we moved in because it was pretty bismal um and so now we've made it like really lovely we've got our lovely green um sofas if you can see them and we've got some pictures up so if i flip that and flip this round and you can see like we've got so we went to uh disneyland for my birthday so we've got that up on the wall across here um we've got the tv which is brilliant um and then my two favorite um pictures focus no it's not gonna focus um hang on so these are from a place called nick inc um, and i absolutely love them so we've got the tiger and a panda um, and then there will be like a cabinet in this corner here um we've also managed to get this from ikea which we absolutely love they're two uh doors so they're cupboards in there for us to put things in and when i move down i'll have like my wii and my and the xbox in there just so that we've got a few things that we can do should really turn the tv off Um, with regards to the rest of the house, we're really lucky here. It's um, it's a friend's place, so we've got it in a really good. We're really lucky to be able to do what we want. We have out here a conservatory. Clunk clunk. Oh, she's actually really warm. I should have worked out here. Um, but it's all like heated and everything, and we've got our dining table in here. So once the other sofas are sorted, um, we can like make this a really nice dining room space. I don't know what's on my TV. Um, I'll give you a quick whiz round. Um, so we're also really lucky to have this amazing space. Let me flip the camera around and move it this way. Um, so this is our lovely, lovely kitchen, which I absolutely love. Um, and it's got really cute things in like, um, the underneath of the kickboards has got LED lights in. So in the evening, uh, we just have them on and it's really nice atmospheric. Everything's built in, so it's absolutely lovely. Um, just run up the stairs. Um, this blue carpet, which I'm not a fan of, is hopefully going. Um, and then back upstairs, we have some of the prints. So when we were in Disney, we were looking around and couldn't really find anything that we wanted to bring back. And in the art shop in Disneyland Paris, you can order these. You can order them framed and not framed. Um, so we just ordered the prints, which were like 20 euros each. So this one's my one. And then over, over here, good old Steamboat Willie um, is Phil's. Um, and it just brings in a little bit of fun. Uh, it is a three bed. So in this lovely room here, we have the bunny rabbit, Pepsi. Um, and it's like our dressing room, so we've got like wardrobes there. Oh, out of breath. And um, wardrobes here, um, so we just get dressed in this one here, which means our bedroom next door is really like cosy. I'll take you in there. Um, not a fan of this wallpaper, but do you know what? It's actually growing on us. So this is our bedroom. Um, it's just like really cosy. We don't have the really big wardrobes, which is really nice for me. Um, Da, da, da. and then this room here <coughs> which is really empty um will become my office and our guest room um once we've i've moved in so in this corner here um we have a day bed black day bed coming um which can be open to a double so um we can get people to come and stay with us um, and then this corner here will all be my um my office so really good and um, we're really happy with it uh we're really lucky as well i have to say um so just making it a home at the minute and um, we've done a lot like you can see like the pictures up on the wall and and just little quirky things like that um 
so really it's just like my stuff that's got to come down which we're slowly doing um but you will have no idea how much stuff i have come on focus camera i didn't realize how much stuff i had so um slippers are off back downstairs and i'm going to leave you here because i'm going to head up home to do some work um i hope you enjoyed my little tour uh of home well i say home not quite yet and um, but we will get there and uh, off nope gotta put it on sack boy um, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow, hopefully, if not Monday, um, oh that's dark, um, and I hope you're all well, feeling a little bit better as we can all see, but still a long, long way to go. Speak to you all soon, bye.